Hello, boys and girls. I have a good show for you all. I have a goddamn great show for you all. Here we are in the Teawara National Forest, or game, as you want to call it. And here we're going to be hunting today the Sika deer, or the Saika deer, whatever the hell you want to call it. Still, it's a beautiful animal, and we're going to be doing that. So, you know, the first thing that we're going to be doing is once we get into this map is we're going to change the hours for the Sika drinking time. Okay, so you ready to go? Ready. Three, two, one. So the Sika deer drinks water from 10 in the morning until 1300 hours, which for you guys that don't know military time, that's one in the afternoon. And we're going to be doing the first thing, which is changing the hours because we have it at 1439. So we're gonna go here, change the hours. But instead of putting it for 10 in the morning, we're gonna add an hour or hour and a half because if you go there at 10 o'clock, you're not gonna find any. The 10, the 10 to 1300 hour means that they're gonna start heading out to drink water at 10 in the morning. So we're gonna set it up ahead an hour just in case. So when we get there, they are going to be there already. So we'll do that right now. We're gonna put it for uh, 1100 hours, or maybe 1125, 1120, 1130, something like that. Doesn't matter, 1131. So the area that we're going to attack first is going to be this one over here, right in this map right here, in this lake. And we're gonna get to this tent right here that I have placed Remember in the game, you should have try to get as many tents as you want and, and you gotta place them in strategically located areas as I'm about to do now, okay? So I'm gonna go to this tent here and when we get here, they're gonna be in this area here and they're gonna be most likely in this section here. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Let's go. The caliber and rifle you are gonna be using for this is a 30 at six because we want a fast, clean kill. And also I'm using the 1X stands 4X scope. You can use this one or you can use the Hyperion, whichever one of the two. But this one, I, I trade them off once, you know, between one or the other one, because I like this one, because this one has less sway and you can have a better aim on the animal, although it doesn't let you look as far as the regular Hyperion, okay? So let's look at this area here and see if we can see them somewhere in this area here. There's one right there, level three. And uh, how far is he? Let me see. He's about 348 yards away. That's okay. He's not going to hear us. Although, the, if you look, notice on the right-hand side, the wind direction is against us, but that's okay. We're not going to be that close to the animal anyways. So here he is, level three, nothing major. And this place is also good if you're like into bow hunting, this place is pretty good for it because you know, you can hide within these trees here and they'll come to you, you can call them or whatever. And then, uh, you know, but we'll take a shot from here, 200. Actually, in that, that position that's he, that he's in on that angle is not convenient for me. So I'm gonna move and come try to get him on a side shot because I want a fast, clean kill, okay? So I'm gonna head starting this way. So this is like their drinking area. This is where they're gonna be at. Or this is one of them. What do we have in front that's moving? Let me see what is that, what is that, what is that? There was something moving in front, oh that was that ducks or something like that? Yeah, looks like ducks. Okay. So there's our animal right there. Let's take another look at him. Okay, 200, 204. 200. Remember, you have to measure the distance on the bottom, not in the middle, not on the top, but on the bottom of their hoofs. 
okay right there it's about 206 which means I can center it on in the middle of the body and we'll have a great one shot kill so I'm using the small one now you can use the Hyperion that's it he's down and let's get to him okay so it's a long way so I'll switch the video back again as we get closer so here he is and we're gonna pick him up okay it's a silver all right you know got him in the heart also I think did I no not the heart the long right lung and left lung okay Let's see if there's anything else so far. Okay, so this was only one on this side. There's nothing else. And now we're gonna go to another lake. Here we are at this section here, which is this part of the map, which is the one on top of where we just were before. So we're in this area here. And there is one there there's another one there level three and i think there's a level four there okay now they're about 297 300 yards away and i think i think i'm gonna come around this area here and try to get him from the other side Okay, so here they are. That's a level four right there. A level three, level three. And the one back is a level, okay. When you try to hunt these animals, like any other animal, you should always get the best angle of shot that you can make. That way you won't wound the animal, you won't have to chase after a wounded animal and waste all that time, okay? So let's see how close we are here. I'm gonna try to shoot that level four. Where are you boys? Where are you? Here you are. That's a level three, level four is 339 yards, which I means I'm gonna aim at the top back of the animals. Well, a little bit below the top back of the animal's back. The top part, the top portion, the spine. 332. Now, I'm taking a risk because I'm using the small scope. Here's the animal right there. Got him. Got his brother. Got his brother and I missed his cousin. Or did I? Got his cousin. Also. Is that his sister? No, I got the sister. Oh my God, I shot a woman. No, no. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh, I gotta load up, load up. He's getting away. He's getting away, boys. He's getting away. Where did he go? Where did he go? There he is right there. He's, there. He's going away. I got him. I got him again. Twice. Is he gonna die? Oh, 50%, 50%. 50%, 50%, come on, come on, 25, do I hear 25, do I hear 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, he's here, ah, he's gonna die around here, he's gonna die around here, come on, let me see the red, let me see the red, let me see the red, there it is, I knew he had, mother had died, anyway, so now I have that tent on this side, 
And I'm gonna go in this direction to get all these. How many did I shoot? Four of them? Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Let's go get them. So like I said, this game is pretty easy. You just have to find out, once again, at what time are the animals drinking and be there when the animals are there, right? Because you know where they're going to drink. They got to drink by a lake or, or a body of water, right? You don't know where they're going to sleep. You don't know what you're going to eat unless you start getting zones, right? So just be there waiting for the animals. Look at the, at the thing of... of a, like I have here, it'll tell you exactly. See, this is, I chose the Tiawara National Park. I went to Saika Deer, and I saw that it's drinking from 10 to 1300 hours. And that's it. You don't have to do nothing else. So we still have about a half an hour, which is gonna go pretty fast, or maybe shooting another one. Maybe, I don't know. We'll have to see. So I'm gonna go pick up these ones. see one there we see one over there and two over there Ooh, nice silver oh I got him on the neck man 336 yards right in the neck yeah proper gun proper animal intact trophy animal to shot twice or less proper ammo for this animal all right we got him how pretty huh Now we're going to go pick up these two over here. Now from this side, you could have gotten closer instead of having to come from this side and shooting them. That's up to you, you know. As long as you don't spook them, you'll be fine. This one was also, okay, this one's a better shot, 323 yards. Right in the lung, left lung, right lung. This one was even a better shot than the other one. And then we got this one, which is silver also look at that shot right in the center a 316 couldn't be a better shot than this one right in the center of the lung okay so we got this one now we're gonna get the one that's up here supposedly he died around this area here so we go out around what 180 yards okay let's, let's go get him And maybe, let me see if we got anything down this uh, corridor of more animals. Let's see. There's nothing here, back again. Nothing there, nothing there. We're gonna have to go to an, a different lake or a different area of the map. Unless they are back here somewhere. Okay, so let's go pick up the last one that we shot. You gotta plan the hunt and hunt the plan. That's what you gotta do. Go with a purpose. Go to shoot the animals that you want. That's why in the multiplayer you have different hours. So, you know, that's the reason they put that there. So people could know at what time they needed to go in to see the, um, the type of animal that they're gonna be shooting on that map. Turkey. Is that a turkey? Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Come on, come on. You're right. You're all the way down there. Follow the blue. Follow the blue. Follow the blue. Oh, we're getting there. 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 Oh, there he is back there. Or there she is. Actually, there he is. Flesh, flesh, man. That was a bad shot. He bled to death because I shot him at 374 yard, 30, 371 yards, pretty far away, using that small scope. Now, had I used probably the Hyperion, the larger scope, I probably would have probably been able to shoot him 
in the right place, right? Or get a vital shot. He would have been a gold had I done that. But it don't matter because what happens is whether this animal, even if he's a bronze, it don't matter. By the size of the antlers, you know he's a gold. And once you put him on your lodge, he's still a gold, right? If you go hunting in real life and you shoot a big game animal, whether you shoot him one time or 20 times, he's still that big animal that you shot, right? So it doesn't matter. Maybe it matters for you to say you're a friend. So I got myself a diamond. Oh, I got myself a gold. But in the lodge, he's going to be the animal that he is no matter what. He's the animal that you shot, okay? So let's try to go to another lake before the time goes out and see if we can shoot one last one. So for our last kill, I had to go back to the map and I had to change the hours back to 10, 59 around their hunt, uh, drinking time again so we can see more deer. Now I spotted some that are over here, right? Don't be afraid to go back to the same area that you shot the animals. You, the only thing you just need to do is to bring back the time again to the drinking time and they'll be there again okay so you can repeat and repeat and repeat the same thing and you always be going to be shooting animals so here they are right here there's a level three right there he's at 207 let me just get a little closer the wind is not in our favor but you know i'm going to try to shoot him from here okay look you have some little pigs oh my god we have some pigs too Oh, the whole family. Check that out. Pigs or hogs? Which one of the two? Anyways, they're crossing along, crossing along the way, not bothering anybody. And we're going to shoot this animal right. <laughs> Got him. Might as well let's try to get a pig too. Oops, missed. All right, that's okay. That's all right. 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 Got him. Got him. Fifty percent. Twenty-five percent. He's going down. He's going down back there. Let me see this one back here. Got that one. Got him again. Where's he going? He's gonna. Is he gonna fall dead or what? Zero percent, he's gonna die back there. Yeah, he's falling down here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Cause it was a good damn good video. Oh look, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was about to leave and I see something on the right hand side. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. First let's pick up this one here that we should have. Okay. Now you notice they're back here again. So the red, did, a lot of times this red doesn't mean anything. The animals want to come back. Okay. The area doesn't have to be like sparkly clean. It can still be red and you're still going to see some animals there. Oh, but that's not what such and such said. Don't pay any attention to the no-sayers. So we're going to pick this one up. There you go. Right and left lung. Now we look to the right hand side. I think I saw something. Did I? Back there? Or didn't I see anything? I know I saw something. Wait a minute. Let me get a little bit closer. Let me get a little bit closer. Pick up this hog or pig however you want to call him. Gold. Block spots. How pretty. Check him out. Didn't I see something over here? I know I'm not crazy. Didn't I see another Sika deer around this area? Maybe not. Where are the other ones? There's one right here. With another hog. He's right there in front of me. Ooh, 
black spots again. Browns, where did I hit him? Oh my God, on the flesh and then on the back, on the, on the bottom. So like I said, don't forget to revisit the same areas back and forth or next to each other because if you shot animals here and it's already red or pinkish, go next to it, right? And if you need to change the hours back again to the drinking time, go ahead and do that. Explore all these two areas, primarily these two lakes on the uh, Tiawara map, and you should be able to get the same animals I'm getting here, or even better than those. Also, would like to let you know that this map has been non has not been modified in any way, shape, or form as far as the animals are concerned. These are the same animals you want to get in a regular vanilla map. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and, and leave a like. You will appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. What do we have here? Oh, baby. Okay. Bye-bye.